saya mengundang Yang Mulia Sri Baginda untuk menyampaikan pernyataannya. Terima kasih. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. It's a great honor for my wife and me to be your guests. In recent years, we've got to know each other well, and we see the state visit as an affirmation of the close bond that's grown between us. And we look forward to making the bond with you and your country even stronger. We're deeply saddened by the tragic boat accident yesterday on the Sebango River. Our thoughts are with the families of the victims and with the injured. Mr. President, on the 17th of August, it will be 75 years since Indonesia issued its proclamas, claiming its place among the independent and free states. The Dutch government explicitly acknowledged this fact, both politically and morally, 15 years ago. Today, we warmly congratulate the people of Indonesia as you celebrate 75 years of independence. We're looking forward to the coming days our visit has a wonderful future-oriented program. Mm. At the same time, it's a good thing that we continue to face up to our past. The past cannot be erased and will have to be acknowledged by each generation in turn. In the years immediately after the proclamacy, a painful separation followed that cost many lives. In line with earlier statements by my government, I would like to express my, and repeat regret and apologies for the excessive violence on the part of the Dutch in those years. And I do so in the full realization that the pain and sorrow of the families affected continue to be felt today. It is a hopeful and encouraging sign that countries which were once on opposite sides, have been able to grow closer and develop a new relationship based on respect, trust, and friendship. The ties between us are becoming ever stronger and more diverse. That gives me great pleasure, and I know that this feeling is widely shared in the Netherlands. Many people in the Netherlands feel a deep connection with Indonesia. It's gratifying that, in turn, a growing number of young Indonesians are showing interest in our country. We see that in the number of young men and women who come to the Netherlands to study. We see it above all in the close working relations between our countries in the field of science, the economy, water management, nature protection and climate. In the days ahead, my wife and I will be visiting various examples of such partnerships and we greatly look forward to it. My wife has visited your country regularly as part of her work for the United Nations. And here too, the collaboration is extremely close and productive. Mr. President, we need Indonesia. Indonesia is a member of the G20 and a leader member of ASEAN. It is a force, it is a force for security and stability in Southeast Asia and is currently a member of the UN Security Council and the Human Rights Council. As the third biggest democracy in the world and one of Asia's largest economies, you play a leading role, for instance, in joint efforts to protect and promote the rule-based international order. Indonesia has a long tradition of religious tolerance and can play a constructive part in this respect. It's important to continue working together to foster peace, justice, and the protection of minorities based on respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity. And we are keen to work together with you towards these ends. Indonesia is a country with an old soul and a young heart. You cherish your rich cultural heritage, and at the same time, you're busy conquering the future. The combination of ancient and new is what makes your country so endlessly fascinating. Mm. My wife and I look forward to getting to know Indonesia even better. Four days are far too short.
but we do our best to see and speak to as many people as possible. And we would like to thank all the Indonesians who are contributing to our visits, all those who are willing to open their doors to us and to share their stories with us. We feel very, very welcome here. Thank you very much.